Now, there is a drug licensed for chronic insomnia as a long-term medication called Daridorexant or the brand name Quivivic. As you can see, the name does not roll off the tongue quite easily. This means that the doctor can prescribe this medication without the concerns of giving you only a short-term supply. So for example, Zopiclod is usually given for 7 to 14 days and is advised to stop the use of the medication after 7 to 14 days. Whereas Daridorexant is something that can be given for a longer period of time. And while short-term insomnia is defined as sleep difficulties for less than 4 weeks, with long-term insomnia, you will notice that you have sleep difficulties going on for more than 4 weeks, as long as 3 months in some cases. And in some people, they will sleep medications for so many years that they find that if they come off the medication, they have withdrawal symptoms and they usually have to go back on the medication, such as your clones and your diazepams. Now, Daridorexin has been out for a while, but has only recently been licensed in countries such as the US and the UK for the treatment of chronic insomnia. Daridorexin is an orexin receptor antagonist, which means that it works by blocking the orexin receptors, your type 1 and type 2, which are responsible for the wakefulness cycle in the body, which means it keeps the body awake. So by blocking these receptors, it causes you to fall asleep and stay asleep. So daridorexin acts on a different brain pathway to diazepam, which acts on the GABA receptors in the brain, which is responsible for some of the side effects that I've mentioned. In terms of dosage, it usually comes as a 25 milligram or 50 milligram dose. Most people find benefits with the higher dose of 50 milligrams, and it's usually taking 30 minutes before bedtime. It is advised not to take the medication with a large meal, as they can reduce the effectiveness of the drug. Side effects can include sleep paralysis, where you might find it difficult to speak or move for several minutes, hallucinations, and worsening of your mood symptoms like depression and having suicidal thoughts. But thankfully, these side effects are rare, and your most common side effects include headache, dizziness, fatigue, and feeling drowsy during the day, which are common side effects of most other sleep medications. However, generally speaking, the safety profile of Daridorexan has shown to be much better than your other sleep medications, such as, your, again, your diazepams and your zopiclones. So this drug has shown to be safe in elderly people, for instance. There are also other medications that can interact with Daridorexan to increase or decrease the levels of the drug in the blood. And it's advised to avoid taking the medication while drinking any grape juice or alcohol. Grape juice can decrease the levels of the drug in the blood, while your alcohol can reduce your alertness and concentration levels, which means that you shouldn't take this medication if you're working in a safety critical role, such as if you're driving an HGV 44 ton vehicle, for instance, or if you're working at heights. The good thing about Daridorexant is that unlike your diazepams and your zopiclones, there is no evidence of abuse or withdrawal symptoms after stopping the drug. Now, can pregnant women take Daridorexant? Well, there is no specific data on this as yet, so I cannot really comment, but it is advised that this is only an indication if it's absolutely necessary for pregnant women to take the drug if there are no other options. So Daridorexant as a sleep medication is not a medication that can be bought over the counter, such as your Calms, your Nitols, your Phenigans, and similar to your Diazepam, your Zopiclones, your Metazepines, your Amitriptylines, it has to be prescribed by your doctor because your doctor has to look at your medical problems, has to look at any other medications that you're taking and look at your safety profile if it's actually safe for you to be on a drug. And one of the indications for being on a drug is if other medications or therapies like CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy, which is actually the first line treatment for insomnia, it's not working. And though Daridorexant is indicated for long-term use with no evidence of drug addiction or tolerance, like any other sleep medication, it is advised to come off the drug as soon as the treatment has been successful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out my other videos on prescribed and over-the-counter sleep medication to find out which is the best medication that is suitable for you.